Hi everyone, in this video I'll be guiding you through the process of setting up Wake on LAN on your computer from configuring it in the BIOS UFI to enabling Wake on LAN at the operating system level and finally sending the magic packet. When your computer starts up, get into the BIOS by hitting F2 or delete. Then for me, it's under advanced AMD PBS. And then I have to scroll all the way down. For me, it's called Wake on PME can also be called wake on resume and I have to enable it and then escape and then I'm going to save changes save changes and exit next once your OS is booted up you need to check the properties on your network card in the OS such as Windows device manager to allow the computer to wake up device manager So here there's multiple adapters. There's a Bluetooth, Wi-Fi adapter, the Realtek adapter, and some virtual adapters. So in this case, it's going to be the Realtek gigabit adapter here. Right click, go to properties, going to advanced, wake on magic packet, enabled. And here the next property, it's cut off wake on magic packet when the system is in the S0IX power state. So there's different standby states. And to actually see this property, you can open up the INF file for it. And we see it here. And the INF file is located under the driver's store directory within Windows. So going back, I am going to enable this. And the next one, wake on pattern match, it's already enabled. And then next I'm going to go to power management. And I'm going to check off, allow this device to wake the computer. And I'm going to hit OK. Next, I'll need to get the MAC address of my network card. I'm going to open up command prompt. And I'm going to type in ipconfig slash all pipe more. And here's the MAC address ending in 089ECB. And now I'm going to shut down my computer. All right, I'm on a different computer. And now to wake up my computer, first I'm going to do it in Windows. And to do so, you can either download an application so it will send out the magic packet, or you could also create your own magic packet within PowerShell. So first I'm going to download Wake Me on LAN, and that's a small program that can send out the magic packet. Download. And I'm going to extract it. You can open up the application and you can run it from here or you can use the command line. I'm going to use the command line. I have here two command prompt windows open. And the first command prompt window, I am going to have a continuous ping. So I'll know when my computer comes up. And in the second window, I am going to run wake me on land from the command line and to send the magic packet. And I'm running it from command line, so I'll need to use the slash wake up option. And then afterwards, I'm going to put in the MAC address. My computer is now turned on and it's booting up. Okay, it's responding to pings, so my computer is back up. I'm going to shut it back down. All right, it's shut down, so we can see it's not responding to pings now. Now I'm going to send a magic packet using PowerShell. So this is a PowerShell script here. So in the first line here is a MAC address variable, putting in my MAC address. And the second line here is another variable for the MAC bytes. So it's going to convert it to bytes. And here I'm going to create the magic packet. So it's going to send six bytes with FF. And then afterwards, I'm going to be sending my MAC address of the computer 16 times. Here it's going to create a new UDP client object and send it out as a broadcast on port 9. And here it's going to send the magic packet and then close. I'm going to open up PowerShell as admin. And I have my wake computer script in the downloads directory. So I'm going to run it. And if you get this error about it cannot be loaded because running scripts is disabled on the system, you can just do a bypass for a one time. All right, so the magic packet has been sent. 
and I'm just going to wait for it to respond to pings. All right, we see here that it's responding to pings, so my computer is back up. And I'm going to shut it down again, and I'm going to do this with Linux. All right, I'm logged into my Linux machine here, and it's running Ubuntu, and it is Bookworm SID. So first I'll need to install Wake on LAN or Etherwake. I'm going to use Etherwake for this. And in Etherwake, you specify the interface that you want the magic packet to be sent out of, otherwise it's going to be going out of ETH0. So I'm just going to do an ifconfig, pipe more. And in this case, I am going to be sending it out of the interface ENP3S0. Etherwake, interface, my MAC address. Okay, so the pings are responding now, and that's how you can get it to work on Linux as well. I hope this video was useful, and I thank you for watching. Bye now.